And if these things come in, they're highly contagious. Dr. Thomas Yunash says world health leaders are right to be alarmed as global vaccination coverage sees its worst decline in a generation, according to the UN. And what we're doing here is you're opening up a chance for these pathogens once again to get out there and start to spread. The World Health Organization and UNICEF report 25 million infants missing out on life-saving vaccines in 2021 alone. This amid worldwide disruptions caused by the COVID pandemic. Uh, things were really messed up in 2020 and 2021 in terms of uh, you know, uh, transport and all the rest. Even in developed nations like the U.S., a lot of parents still trying to catch their kids up on shots after not seeing the doctor as often during the pandemic. We are seeing kids that are behind in their vaccines. I work in the emergency department, so we are seeing kids that need an additional tetanus shot where they miss their tetanus shot. But these disruptions, not the only factor driving the decline. Dr. Yunash says the pandemic triggered misinformation about vaccines in general. She's given the uh, anti-vaccine groups a lot more uh, visibility to spread the uh, the falsehoods that they spread regarding the vaccines. Vaccines that protect against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and others. We could see, uh, you know, a resumption of measles, uh, mumps, um, um, whooping cough and typhoid fever out in, in this country, which would be something that would be really unfortunate. And on a related note, with school starting in less than a month, certain shots are required for students entering kindergarten as well as seventh grade. Doctors say don't wait until the last minute to make an appointment. That's really good advice there. All right, Matthew, thank you.